So behind me, uh, we have a bunch of equipment. You can see there's a lot of heavy equipment in this room because we're gonna be lifting a whole bunch of the large pieces of the tokamak into place. And actually, if you look up on either side of the room, we have these two large 50-ton bridge cranes. Both of those were needed to lift our 75-ton cryostat base into place and position it with millimeter accuracy on the ground. And so we have a whole bunch of equipment in here that'll allow us to move parts of the tokamak in and assemble them and make sure they're all in the right place so that when the machine comes together, all the pieces line up exactly how they're supposed to. Something that you might wonder is why we have two bridge cranes instead of one bridge crane in this room. Why wouldn't we just have a 100 ton bridge crane? The answer goes back to magnetic fields. So even though most of the magnetic field is going to be contained inside of the tokamak, there is going to be some stray field uh, that's emitted inside of this room. And by having two cranes, even though there's, there's unavoidable material in the cranes that, that's metal that's gonna become magnetized, we can at least make sure that the field, the stray field that is from the magnetized material is going to be symmetric if we have two cranes that can be moved to the opposite corners of the room while the tokamak is operating.